Hey you guys, back again. Thought it'd be interesting to show everyone all the hay that we go through. So this is only a little bit of the hay that we feed our horses. We've got a few bells stacked here. And then Ronnie is making another stack over on the side. Um, this particular hay runs $7 a bell. It's coastal Bermuda. Uh, it has a really good nutrient content, so we really like feeding it to the horses. It keeps them, you know, looking fat and healthy. We like for our horses to have plenty of forage all day, every day, whether they're outside or they're in stall. In a stall, we like to give them somewhere 15, 20 pounds per horse or, you know, a, a, a third or a half of a bell per horse, depending on its need uh, when being stalled. I don't think I can put hay on my Amazon wish list. I wish I could, but I'll see if I can uh, work that in there. <laughs> that's a good question. All right, and then finding somebody that's got good enough hay. And then over here, our next big expenditure is shavings. Being so far in the city, it's hard to get shavings delivered. And then the other issue is our delivery places in the backyard. And the backyard is super muddy with all the continuous rain that we've been having. So having a big shavings truck drive back there and be able to actually get in, unload the shavings, and then get back out is also an issue. So the bag shavings have actually been easier. And we've been using our shavings bin for an extra tractor parking spot uh, now that we have two tractors on the farm. So we go through probably 10 bells a day. Yes. Yeah, 10 bells a day. Uh, easy math is $70 a day to feed all the horses. How many we feed into that? We feed that's uh, that's just the outside. So if the horses are staying in for inclement weather, then we may feed them an additional, we may go through an additional six bells that night just loading hay, stall, loading hay into stalls to make sure everyone has enough to get through the evening. So, yeah, all right. Just a little update on the hay situation. Sometimes this truck is so loaded down with hay that it is up over the racks and over the front. Oh yeah, so there's a special little bell up on the top there. You'll notice it looks slightly different with different bands. That's a different type of hay. That's called alfalfa. It's mostly grown out west and it's compressed. This little bell probably weighs, what, 50, 54 pounds? 54 pounds, he says. And you can see the size difference here, like this one, you know, is like barely as long as my arm as to where this one is, you know, completely huge. Um, but this one here probably only weighs, yeah, maybe half, 30 pounds in the regular bell, 35. So, but this alfalfa runs, I think $16 for one bell of it. But that's what the horse, some of our older horses who are, have a hard time chewing and need a higher nutrition. Um, we feed them the alfalfa or anyone who has a tummy issue anybody who might show uh, signs of ulcers sometimes when you go to girth your horse and he's angry and mad or he doesn't want you to use a leg cue or he doesn't want you to brush him um, or her near the wither or near the side where the girth goes or under the bottom of the stomach those are pressure point areas to be looked out for for ulcers so we found that when a horse has ulcer, the best thing to do is to feed it some cabbage, some alfalfa, and some aloe juice. Yeah, if that doesn't awesome. clear it up, then we move on to some omeprazole. But I have recently read a study that omeprazole actually causes worse ulcers in horses after they come off of it. So I read about this product called Gut X that we may try soon and see how that works. Since we get horses from slaughter and horses from auctions and horses from people who are just giving them away and all kinds of situations, you never know what a horse has been through, what it's been fed, what it hasn't been fed, what's going on in its tummy. So sometimes you just got to take a minute and clear up those tummy issues and not just assume that you've got a horse with a bad attitude or a horse that doesn't like you or is mean to you just because they're tummy feels bad and the only way they know to show you is from misbehavior so um, someone told me one time when a horse misbehaves you should ask yourself three things is it in pain does it clearly understand what you're asking it to do and does it understand who the boss is so you know those are those are three things to check on there because if it doesn't understand what you're asking or it doesn't understand who the leader is 
you're obviously not going to get the same reaction you would want out of a horse that clearly understands those things or a horse that's in pain think about yourself in pain and you'll quickly know that hey when i'm hurting i'm not happy when i'm not happy i don't want to do things all right we got two students out here finishing up a little night ride almost hey you guys so we got Abigail, no, sorry, Olivia. I don't, where did that come from? I don't know. I don't even think we've had an Abigail out here. That was funny. That's not your middle name, is it? No, my middle name's Paisley. Oh, that's a cool name. Olivia Paisley Schmidt. Oh, that's a great name. And then we, uh, so she's on Belle, and then we've got Eliza out here with Bo. These guys are wanting to go to the Holly Valley Schooling Show on March the 13th, I think it is. So, they're getting a little extra ride in. It is cold, girls. It's cold. Look at Belle shaking her head. She said, girl, it's cold. Did you feel that wind? Woo! <laughs> All right, girls. A couple more minutes and let's get them in and get them fed and blanketed, okay? What, honey? All right, just a few minutes with her, okay? All right, well, another fun packed day here at Trinity Stables. So much to come, always stuff going on. Um, more videos to come, you guys. I hope y'all liked them. Peace out.